and Brock the Yahawa, Brock of the Yahawasha, Brock the Yahawa, Brock of the Yahawasha, Bashan, Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Dear Brian Muncie. Lord will you are edified. I published a video entitled The Revelation of Yahweh Shah and Brian Muncie posted a comment and it reads, Okay, now what? Does that mean anything pertinent? All right, and pertinent goes back into the origin of pertain, and a synonym for pertinent is relevant. I never cared what his race was. Why do you need that to be, though? It doesn't change anything for me. I still feel the same. I still think like I did when I was a kid. He looked Arab, old-style Hebrew. It just never mattered. I figured even at eight years old, people just made him look how they look. Y'all got to get past that bullshit. If he came back tomorrow, white and blue eyes, surfer. Jesus, would you not love him? If not, you need to look inside and kill the ignorance. Okay, Mr. Muncie, if you don't change your mindset, you are going to die. Point blank, period. And when you analyze um, his comments, right, he's very emotional. You know, I this, I that, I this, and I that. All right. And at the end of the day, all right, it's for truth's sake. And if the color or if the race did not matter, all right, it would not be notated within the scriptures. Point blank, period. All right. And at the same time frame, Mr. Muncy, if you are not an Israelite, this is not for you anyway. And most importantly, you have to be predestined as an Israelite to understand, all right? Because Jesus is not the true name, all right? The true name is Yahweh Shai, which is a nomen omen, meaning name prediction, all right? Now, when you break that term down, Yahweh Shai, Yah means he, Yahweh Shai is the savior or deliverer for the nation of Israel beginning with the elect so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans based on the lineage of our fathers are Israelites, all right? So it doesn't matter what you think. Okay, now what? Does that mean anything pertinent? And if you are an Israelite, And if Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah does not give you that spiritual brainwashing, meaning being born again, you are going to die. This is Ezekiel 3 and 18. When I say unto the wicked, the wicked referring to Israelites, all right, you shall surely die. And you give him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. So everything we preach, beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone, trickling down, all right, to the elder Akim and the camp heads and etc., all right, it matters, okay? It fucking matters. This is a life and death situation, whether you can receive it in the spirit or not. Back in Ezekiel 3 and 18, from the top, when I say unto the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. We are prophesying to save your life if you are an Israelite. But at the end of the day, it's only for the elect. So if the non-elect hear the word of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, is for judgment purposes only. The same wicked man 
shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at your hand, meaning what? So if a prophet is not prophesying to assist with the conversion, okay, of the wicked, which are Israelites, all right, if that man is not teaching, then the Most High is going to hold him responsible. Okay? Verse 19. If you, Salaki, verse 19. Yet if you warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. Okay, now what? Does that mean anything pertinent? Hell yeah. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18 through 19. I never care what his race was. Why do you need that? It be though. It doesn't change anything for me. I still feel the same. I still think like I did when I was a kid. I figured. Y'all gotta. Let's go to... Isaiah 55 and verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh. All right. So God is not the name. All right. Yahweh is the name of our Heavenly Father. Yahweh. Nomen omen. And when you break this term down, it means he is or he exists. Okay. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh. Okay. It doesn't matter what you think and how you feel and you steal this or that. It doesn't matter. John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through your truth. Your word is truth. Let's focus on sanctify according to the Greek. Strong's G37. Hagiadzo. Hagiadzo. Three C to purify internally by renewing of the spirit. And Mr. Mussey, unless you are born again, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You will be destroyed. Point blank period. Revelation 1 and 1, the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto, unto his servant John. Let's focus on Revelation according to the Greek. Strong's G602, Apocalypsis, Apocalypsis. According to outline of biblical usage, laying bare, making naked, regarding the character of Yahweh Shah, a disclosure of truth instruction regarding Yahweh Shah, concerning things before unknown regarding Yahweh Shah, all right, use of events by which things or states or persons hitherto withdrawn from view are made visible to all, referring to Yahweh Shah, manifestation appearance, referring to Yahweh Shah. So Yahweh Shah's appearance matters, okay? Point blank period. And that's the reason why it's documented within the scriptures. So it doesn't matter how you feel and what you think.
Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speak you unto them in parables? Verse 11, he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Let's jump down. You know what? Let me read. For whosoever has, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever has not, from him shall be taken away, even that he has. Verse 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hearing they see not, neither do they understand. Hence you, Mr. Brian Muncy, at this time frame. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see and shall not perceive. Perceive means what? It breaks down into to know. Okay? For this people heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted. Converted means what? To turn around from your wicked ways, and report back in the spirit to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And I should heal them. Okay? If Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah does, does not convert you, Mr. Brian Mussey, your mindset will get you killed. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. Of the great city, the great city referring to the United States of America, their dead bodies referring to Israelites before being enlightened by the Holy Word, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So America is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Spiritually, when you break this term down, means to be assisted by the Holy Spirit. So if the Holy Spirit is not assisting you, then therefore you will not understand. Where also our Lord, Yahusha, was crucified, meaning what? Xing out his image, painting him as a so-called white person. As so-called white people are Edomites based on the lineage of their fathers. Okay? Because according to Revelation, the first chapter, all right, he was a dark-skinned man. He is a dark-skinned man, okay? With woolly hair and a beard, all right? He doesn't look like that bullshit from the Renaissance. Blonde hair with blue eyes. So, yes, all right, apparent, his appearance matters no matter what you think. Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you. Hence that, Mr. Brian Muncy. I will also reject you, that you shall be no priest to me, seeing you have forgotten the law of your power. I will also forget your children. Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cry without. She utter her voice in the streets. All right. The truth is located in the streets. All right. And also at this time frame on YouTube. Right. She cried in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered her words saying, and that's literal. Verse 22. How long you simple ones Will you love simplicity? All right. And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge 
And fools mean what? Empty headed. Now, what makes you empty headed? You lack the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Turn you at my reproof. Reproof is correction. Behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make known my words unto you. And Mr. Brian Muncy, so when you come across these videos, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah is dealing with you. Because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regard. But you have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. Now let's read that in the NIV. Since you disregard all my advice and do not accept my rebuke, I will also, Salaki, so I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear come. When your fear come as desolation and your destruction come as a whirlwind, meaning fast. When distress and anguish come on you, then shall they call on me. Yeah, call on Jesus during that time frame. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. And that's the point. A mindset can get you killed. Lord will you are edified, Shalom.